Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Crystalline Update. Unfortunately, in the previous episode, we got to the boss and we got softlocked. I contacted the devs and they said it's an issue they are aware of and they're definitely working on a fix for. Apparently, it's something to do with guidance. So while you have guidance, at least until um, a hotfix or update comes out, do not throw it at that boss because it will get stuck. Uh, apparently, it's something to do with when the heads bob down and you hit it at the same time and the, the guidance tries to bounce there's some sort of issue with that but either way at least they know of it and they're planning on fixing it let's buy ourselves some bombs and let's go down here and get ourselves some stuff crafted i'm gonna go with the four leaf club for this one i think enemies drop gold when killed sounds pretty good we're still going down with sixteen thousand gold so pretty happy with our gold count let's get down we're gonna stick with ascension one i'm gonna do at least one maybe two more ascension one runs just so we can get to the boss reliably oh we got savagery times three that's really good as well uh just so we can get to the boss a little bit more reliably and hopefully kill it at least once before we uh before we up the difficulty and start getting into the real stuff because we are not going to be seeing the last floor anywhere near as often once we start up in the ascension levels we're already at ascension nine having a little bit of difficulty um a little bit of difficulty getting past nori so it's definitely going to be a challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge. But here we've got um, we've got little, we've got a little Nico, a little uh, smacker boy. Right, I am definitely going to take a bit of damage here. These guys are the worst. Away with you. But having having enemies drop gold is quite nice actually. Don't really think it'd be that good, but it seems like you're getting a decent amount, like at least ten per one. No, I don't want to break you, you damn skelly bob. Why did you do this to me? Ah, that gives us gold as well. Unless that was just complete random chance. That was probably just random chance. But that still, it looked like that gave me gold from the uh, gold drop from the four leaf clover. Right. Just means that pilfers are going to be running wild. This would be a terrible item to have if you had the um, the deadly pilfers item. Alright, what's this? Deal more throw damage at low health. I mean, we're not going to get anything better, so we'll just take it. I haven't actually seen Nico punch anything yet, so I need to watch out for that. Right. Um, I'm going to go with a bit of damage up. Healing is less effective. That's absolutely fine with me, especially when it's a minor curse. It really doesn't bother me all that much at all. But yeah, so far, absolutely loving this update. I think it's brilliant. I think they've done a really, really good job with it. Um, the, the new floor is really fitting for the game. Um, gotcha. It's really fitting for the game as long as well as like just being quite fun and challenging too. Like I'm glad they've added a the last floor in that's got a little bit of extra challenge to it without being ridiculous. I mean, like I said, we haven't tried it on the ascension levels yet. It might be ridiculous on the ascension levels. And um, I know that when they brought out the cast update, it was very much balanced for um, no ascension. So they did have to make some tweaks to make the ascensions kind of work. So maybe they'll be the same for this update where they'll have to do some balancing tweaks and sort a few things out before the um before they end up getting it right for higher ascensions but people like let's suffer who are on like ascension 70 odd god damn it's gonna take him like three hours to do an entire run because bosses themselves take like 10 to 15 minutes when you're on that high ascension level it's kind of crazy but yeah when we do end up heading into ascension 9 we don't have the first boss to kill i killed that on the uh original run i did in this update um the one that you didn't see uh and also um, we got halfway through the boss and I was just taking too much damage and then that's when I realised. <laughs> so we'll still have to beat the second boss. Oh, a pilfer got in the way there. Yeah, the pilfers are going to be real annoying. We're going to be getting in the way all the time. But yeah, we got a pretty good start here with um, with having Savagery 3. Savagery 3 just means we're going to be critting a lot more. We can get anything that increases our crit chance or damage further. That's going to be a really good get for us. We have that there, the Chaos Chest. I'm not really that tempted by that. Okay, we got one of the Ogres. So, I've heard that these guys get real terrible. So, we saw a few of them with Rook Bombs on the later floors. Apparently, there's a few a few rooms on, like, later Ascension levels they can show up in, where it's, like, a tiny room with, like, three of them. And that seems that seems pretty horrendous. So, uh, you have to deal with that at some point. Getting the Overstock Shop this early on is brilliant. I, again, like I said last run... I'm not too bothered about spending a bit of extra money these runs. I I will spend to my heart's content. I will spend, spend, spend away. Uh, so if we find any extra items or anything, then I am willing to go for it. Um, I'm guessing with uh, with biscuits with Nico, um, we can just kind of 
activate it and let him punch things and it'll do a pretty good job. So let's just activate it before we go into this next room and if he punches things, it's going to do us a good job. Or maybe it's just when we deal melee damage. That might be that might be the case. Ow. I am going to get hit by a bunch of stuff in this room because I can't find where anything is. Yeah, for the most part, the gold I get from Four Leaf Clover, I'm not going to spend too long running around and picking up. I'm not going to backtrack for it all. It's just nice to get the extra pieces when we get them. Oh my god. I want to use as much of my biscuits potion as I can, but this bloody room. I have to backtrack so much to get to this uh, side room here. Um, yeah, I think, I think if we place a bomb here, it should get both of these. Yes, yes. I know my stuff. Get a free chest here. We got a shop inside a shop. I'm just going to use that now, in fact. Shop inside a shop is always good. Uh, we might be able to get some stuff, especially with the overstock shop. It's definitely going to be more useful. Take a sip of my drink here. I'll buy that. Uh, I'll remove my curse. I'll buy that. And do you know what? I'm buying the catalyst too. I'm buying it all up. I'm buying it all up. Give me everything you got. Up we go. That was pretty good haul there. Definitely a good shop. Three relics in that one. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's always brilliant. Right. Got to head our way all the way back around here again. God damn, it's a long trek. But I did just get the thing to increase our potion duration, so our biscuits should last quite a bit longer here. We should be able to get him to level 2 relatively easily. Which I'm definitely happy about. Another two bombs there is lovely. Basically, bombs now are just fodder for transmute bombs if we get them, or gold bombs if we get them. I'll try and look for secret rooms when possible, but that's that's kind of what I'll be saving them for in the most part, because them two items can sort of break a run wide open, so I want to be keeping enough bombs to enable them when we get them. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm terrible. I got hit by them twice, I just kind of walked right onto them. There you go, it's it leveled up once already. I believe now we've got an increased crit chance, so that's great that we've got savagery. Because now we've got even higher increased crit chance. It's going to be a very crit heavy... Hey, thank you. It's going to be a very crit heavy build, I think. I'm very happy about that. So, I really hope we get the, um... Is it the Dylan's Claw or something that makes us do more damage on crits? That'd be great. Uh, right. So, we've got gold, some gold um, popcorn here. That's going to be really good for later on. I'll take normal popcorn as well. Of course, take the key. Keys are just... I'll always take keys. They're too useful not to. So we'll take a curse here because we can remove it straight away in that in that last room there. Take, gonna take a bit more damage, I think. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm not going to remove that yet. I don't need to. It is not entirely necessary for me to remove that curse. Not entirely necessary. But I love it when we can just kind of buy, buy, buy. Because obviously on these lower ascensions, shops cost less anyways. But it just means we can stack up so many items. So many items. Give me all that stuff. There you go. Um, I'm not going to spend one key on one normal chest. Seems like bad value proposition, that. So, yeah, we don't want to be throwing when we get to the last boss. To be fair, right now we're going for a swing build. Someone in the comments said, I think it was Shark, said that he would prefer to see more swing-related da damage builds. Just because they're a bit more enjoyable to watch. And I would actually agree. Um, I think they're more difficult to play, but that does make them, in turn, more enjoyable to watch. So, um, I will try my best to go for some more um, swing-related builds. As you saw, one of the previous builds I did was swing-related, and this one's going to be as well. And that just... Puts the icing on the cake. Hyper stun. Super quick swing speed. If we can build up a little bit more swing speed on top of that, it's going to be insane. Very, very nice build so far. Um, and you have very little that I want. Very little that I want indeed. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be taking any of that. I don't think any of that's worth it. 70, 70 HP for uh, uh, kernels is kind of okay, but not the best. I don't want to be wasting my money. And obviously our uh, biscuits have run out now, so we want to be buying them. Basically any potion that has a duration, we might as well buy because it's going to last forever. Um, and it's going to be pretty good value. So we can take this because we need the healing. We've got the, the drought. <sighs> I'm going to take a free Lotus drought because I know there's some situations where you can get um, like cursed items for free, which is pretty valuable. 
Let's remove that curse now. And that'll do for now. Get, getting quite low in gold, but I think with uh, with the four leaf clover combined with a few other things, we should be able to get our gold back up there pretty easily. Okay, these these bloody sonar bats are so annoying. Oh, uh, I, I can hit him through walls, but he can hit me through walls too, so that's good to know. I was like, yeah, I'm being smart here, and he just hit me through a wall as well. Oh, that pilfer just fell in the pit. I don't even think I've seen that happen before. Sorry, pilfer. Goodbye, pilfer. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. Let's open this up. Uh, I might even go back and buy that reroll machine. Um, and come in here and spend some health rerolling that. Because, honestly, the Wayland's boots aren't that good. Okay, get off me. Get off me. Got it. Yes, and it gave me this as well. That's such a good haul from that. Wow, what the fuck happened in this room? So much just happened in this room. But that was that was a really good haul. That got our gold going up and up and up, which is lovely. Got some more of these gemstones, which is good because we did just spend a lot on Nico here. How is this oil still on fire? There you go. Calm down. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. For God's sake. I just set it straight back on fire again. <laughs> the pilfer's just, like, absolutely getting wrecked by it here. There you go. Right, we do have a secret room here. I see you there. Oh, my God. Popcorn, doing work. I definitely will take golden popcorn this run, just because it's going to be so amazing for, um... Oh, my God, yes. It's going to be so amazing for us when we've got, uh... Gold on kill. I think it's definitely going to be worth it. That chest is probably worth it, but... A bomb and a key. Our bombs are a little bit low for that, I think. I'll probably destroy that, um... That cursed fire up there. Because even if we get just consumables, I'm still going to be pretty happy with that. Oh my god, our swing speed's so good. So, so good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play a few of these. I'll go down to, like... Like... 250 health. Yeah, that'll do. Got 100 gold from that. It's it's not that good value, but it's decent. Right. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of backtrack on this on this uh, floor anyway, so I don't mind. Oh, listen to him go. <laughs> I love doing that. It's so funny. Makes me laugh like every time. <laughs> that beetle just walked directly into the pit there. That was great. No sparkles. Oh, no. Hey, there are sparkles. I am wrong. Almost missed that. People would, people would hound me down if they if they saw me miss that. Right, let's blow this up. We got an egg. Yes, bloody night squirrel. Finally, uh, take damage for each person, each of your persons, each room. Oh shit, ma. Uh, that is not a very good, um, not a very good one there. Because we definitely want to keep both of these. So I'm gonna be taking two damage a room until we get rid of that. So apart from destroying rocks, okay, doesn't matter, he's dead. I was gonna say, apart from destroying rocks, we have no real use for that guy. Because we've already found a secret room, but then he died anyways. Ow. Right, I definitely need to go back to the shop and buy some HP here, because... Papa's getting low. Papa's getting low. Honestly, though, that was a pretty good haul from that. Getting, getting Night Squirrel unlocked, I'm so happy. Do it. Let's go. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. I just sit on it and just spam space as hard as I can. Just listen to him absolutely raving out. Ooh, 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 ooh. There he goes. Right. We've got a ham hock in here, don't we? Yep. Thank you, thank you. I will buy this and go and use it. It's quite a lot of money. But again, like I said, I just... I'd rather have security in, in getting to the last floor and and... Like, not have money left over. Cosmic Egg. It's good, but the, we're so close to the next level already that I don't want to. And really, okay, I'll bomb it once more. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. More swing damage at high health. That's going to be good. Extra 10 already, and we're not even anywhere near full HP. So I'm very happy with that. I think that went extremely well for us. Hey, where we go? <laughs> My bouncy boy. 
Uh, I'm not going to do that now. I was going to, but now that I've got this curse, I really don't want it anymore. And here's where Freeloader's Drought... Wait, we got 10 damage a room. Oh, my God. Freeloader's Drought here could be incredibly good for us. Gave us the wrong one, but do you know what? They're pretty decent anyways. So, what do they do exactly? I can never remember. Um, bombs brand enemy for sacrifice. Let's go and have a little look-see what exactly they do. I, di I did look this up before, but I do want to make 100% sure I'm, I'm clear on what exactly they do. So, let's go to relics. Can we find branding bombs easily? Let's just control F it. Brand. There you go, branding bombs. Branding bombs will mark all targets in the room with a brand, regardless of distance from the bomb. All non-boss enemies that have been branded will um, be given five seconds to live. After the enemy in the room has died, the peasant will take 10 damage um, per 100 max health for each enemy killed. They seem decent, but dangerous. I definitely want to be at higher health for UCs. I was hoping we'd get the Doom Blade for free. Because that would just up our damage for every curse that we carry. Which, of course, we don't want too many curses, but it would be nice. So, we're going to be taking 10 damage a room. Oh, no, 5 there. I don't know why I took 10 last time. Ow. Ow. Okay, Nico's doing crazy damage. That's good. That's good at least. <clears throat> Another key. Got so many keys now. We don't need to buy any more for a little while here. Hopefully, we can get, like, gold tooth or sustain on, the sustain on gold or something. Because right now, health is definitely a concern. Um, it's not terrible, but at the same time, it's not the best either. Go and talk to this gentleman. So luckily, our bombs aren't going to deal damage to us when there's nothing in the room. But if we do want to use them in a big room with a lot of enemies, we could. Although we are going to lose a lot of HP for that. So we want to be careful about that. We want to make sure we've got the HP available to kind of spend. Because we're going to be spending it. But it seems like a pretty powerful item nonetheless. Basically kills everything in the room. And I suppose if there's, like, one really big annoying enemy, we could use it in that scenario. Because then we're not going to lose too much HP, but we are going to get a pretty uh, pretty decent kill. Okay, we got got um, the Absolution Potion there, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Absolution. Absolution's good, but it's, it's too specific right now for what we want. Um, right. Buy some bombs. I'll definitely buy some HP. Want to be stocking up on HP, making sure we don't get too low. Of course, we get more damage for HP, but also when we're losing when we're losing health per room. I don't want to be uh, getting too low down. And the totem of life actually completely counterbalances our uh, our curse for now, so I'm very happy to have that. I'm not gonna bother trying to find a way to reroll that because we're gonna be healing for six every room or seven. Um, but we're gonna be taking five damage, so we're actually gonna be gaining health still. Every room. That's very nice to see. I need to unlock the 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 um, curse. Do you know what? We'll, re we'll remove this now, just so we don't end up taking too much damage. I need to unlock the um, the blessing that lets you. It's called regeneration or exploration or something. That gives you one health per room per level. That seems really useful in certain situations. It doesn't seem like the best one in the roster, but it definitely seems like it could be quite useful. I got a few of those. Oh, God, almost walked into that. I'm going to get hurt by these fires, definitely. Right. Okay, I was, was going to say what's going on with this room, then I realized it's just a normal room with a... Uh, regenerate health over time. That's brilliant for us, especially considering we've got increased potion duration and we've got mitosis. Uh, is it mitosis? Catalyst. Why do I call it mitosis? I don't know. Uh, but that's going to be very useful for getting a lot of health for us. I'm not going to use that yet. I'm going to wait until we maybe sacrifice some health elsewhere for rerolls or something. And then use it because it's going to be giving us a lot of health. I want to make sure we get the full usefulness out of it. There's no point using it if we're only going to be healing for half of its duration. We might as well get all we can out of it. But I'm going to try the branding bombs in, like, let's, let's just try them now. So if we if we put down, wait, get rid of you. If we put down a branding bomb now, it gives five seconds for all of them to die. 48 damage? Shit me. That's a bit much for three enemies killed. That's definitely going to be something that we use in more specific scenarios. That, that, seems, that seems wholly dangerous. Oh, 
Yeah, that seems, that seems like it's going to be a very specific use case. Because I just, I don't, don't see why I'll be willing to take that much damage for three enemies killed. Them enemies, if, if they're nowhere near, could be quite useful. I wonder if it works on Golden Pilfers, that's a question. If it works on Golden Pilfers, it could be incredibly useful. Get an insta-kill on a Golden Pilfer without having to chase it down. That'd be super useful. That'd be really fun, actually. But yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to use um, some more unique items. Some items we don't really get to use as often. I really hate that potion. That potion's terrible. I'm not even going to pick it up. It's not even worth my slot. You ain't worth it. You ain't worth nothing to me. Get okay, that guy. Oh, These bloody things. Thank God we can one-shot them on this uh, ascension. So nice. We're getting to the point where we can't quite one-shot them on our, on our Ascension 9 runs. Whit! Definitely gonna take that. Gonna be finding more secret rooms. Mainly just take it now because with an extra four floors, or extra four um, floors of a floor, you know what I mean? Um, we've got a higher chance of getting the whip showing up. And we've got the um, the doubled shop things, so we're pretty good for that. Um, a bit more bombs. I could take whatever double of that is, but we've got so many consumables right now, I just don't really feel it's necessary. I just don't really feel it. Give me all this shit. Okay, fire. Yep, I knew it was going to block my path there, so I went around the other way. So I had a feeling it was going to be a bit cheeky. But yeah, that gold's still pretty good. We, uh, even though we spent a lot, the, the, the reduced shot prices here really help out. I'm going to take some extra swing speed. Of course, we got decreased swing speed. It just balances itself out. That's fine. I'll end up removing that at some point, I'm sure. I found out the other day as well. That the um the potion that doubles like bombs and keys, it also doubles um the remove curse things. The little the little tags. It doubles them as well, so that could be really useful if we find one of them in a shop and we have a remove curse. I might want to buy one of them. Right, I'm just gonna ignore that guy for now. So I could just do this, couldn't I? Oh, 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 oh I found something here. Oh no, I haven't. Damn it. I was maybe... That's, okay. So that still dealt 48 damage. And we found transmute bombs as well. Uh, thank you, branding bombs, for being for being here. But transmute bombs are so much better. <laughs> I'm going to try and move them over next to that. Ah, oh, there's no way of deciding which way it falls, is there? That's kind of annoying. I was really hoping I could, like, budget over here. Really hoping I can budget over that side. Okay, I got it. I got it a little further. No, the wrong way. I want to try and duplicate, like, re-roll two at once. Right, let's re-roll this first. It can't be re-rolled. Okay, fair enough. That's a bit strange, but that's fine. There you go. There you go. That's exactly what we wanted. I could have definitely taken that there and gone for the uh, extra bombs, but you know what? I really wanted to go for some more damage, and we got it. And there, there you go. There's some more bombs anyways. There's some more bombs anyways. Really, re really, really? I said that really weird then. Really, really, really happy. I'm, I'm pretty damn happy with how this run's looking so far. It's definitely looking on the higher end of good. Let's just go there. Thanks, woman. Your shitbag. Right. A faster swing. Decreased floor speed's fine. We've got the faster swing either way. And let's keep on going. So far, yeah, I'm liking this. I love getting transmute bombs. So good for us. And we got gold duplication as well now, so that's going to be really good for us. But yeah, with, with popcorn, we shouldn't need the uh, the bomb duplicator. We should be getting a good amount of, um, of bomb duplications when bombs drop. Hopefully. But yeah, the amount, of, the amount of damage we're doing now is crazy. I'm missing pilfering though, I have to say it. I didn't think pilfering was very good for a long time because it stops you from breaking the game, but my god, I miss it right now. Right, all we need to do is destroy this for a chest. It's only one bomb, we've got 14, so I'll definitely go for that. We also found our secret room as well off of that. So that's nice. Gotta remember we're getting extra secret rooms of floor, and there you go, got a free remove cast there. Rather nice. Removed the one that I didn't really care about, but do you know what? 
I'm not going to complain. A free cash removal is still a free cash removal. I can't really be petty about which one it takes. Unless I had a, a major cast, then I'd be a bit annoyed. So, I think when we get Nico to, to level 3, whenever he deals a crit, or is it whenever I deal a crit? No, whenever he deals a crit, uh, it damages every single enemy in the room, which is really cool. Look at this. It's crazy. And he seems, he seems really good. Like, he seems to be doing, like, 70 damage a hit. I don't know if his damage is, is based on his own or if it's based on mine. I don't, I don't know how his damage is calculated. But he seems to be doing good damage when he crits. Like, 70, 80s. Which is, like, kind of what we're doing with a basic hit, which is pretty damn good. Okay, our damage is definitely getting up there now. We've got, we've got an extra 16 damage from our uh, damage at high health on swing. So we're really getting up there. Oh, thanks. That gold just it took a hit for me. I didn't even know gold could get hit by fire, but it did. Uh, I got a chest here. Give me that bomb, boy. Right. Battle standard is a is it seems to be a pretty common item for us right now. I don't. I swear it was a rare before, but it's, it seems to be a more common item now. But my god, is it good! I love it. It lasts a little, uh, not not quite as long as it used to, but my god, I do not care. It's so good. It's so nice when you have high swing speed already. It just like doubles it for the entire room when you start a room. All right, I probably should have tried to get rid of that bomb guard just to see if there was a secret room, but I missed out on my opportunity. Alright, let's check inside this boy. Oh, I can't get that food. Found a key. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, let's go with a bit more swing speed. I'm even going to do this. Risky bisky. Oh my god, I got the worst one. All enemies inflict poison. Got a, punt, a bunch of bombs out of it though. <laughs> That's a really bad curse. One of my worst ones. One of the ones I hate most. Is that Bramble Vest? If that's Bramble Vest, I'll re-roll it. Yeah, it is. Um, I'll take that. I think the increased health is really good. And it's actually going to increase our damage on our Knight's Pendant by quite a lot too. So, pretty happy with that. But yeah, basically, if we get hit, we're going to be getting poisoned a lot here. So, try not to get hit. Try not to die. Hey, Nico's leveled up. Yeah, they definitely resist melee um, throw damage now. A lot. We don't have our branding bombs anymore, so we can't do anything cool with them. But do you know what? They're just not that good. <laughs> That's a lot of damage to take for for killing one enemy. 48 damage to kill one enemy. That's that's not a good trade, in my opinion. Unless you've got an insane amount of HP. Which we're definitely getting there. We've got quite a lot of HP, but not enough to warrant that, I don't think. What you got for a shop? We've got Golden Delicious. I very much like Golden Delicious. Um, I'll take Golden Delicious. Don't think there's anything else we want in here, apart from I'll, I'll keep always stocking up on bombs. I don't think there's anything else we want. I think we can just leave the shop as is. Yeah, I think I think as the floors increase, we're, we're basically a plateau with our gold, where we're going to be spending as much as we make pretty much every floor. Obviously, we've just got Golden Delicious, which increases our amount of gold made per floor by a decent amount. But yeah, the branding bombs against like gargoyles and stuff is where I can really see them being very valuable. But you just got to have so much health and healing to really sustain using it reliably and often if you if you want to. Otherwise, it's like a once every few room sort of thing. Because the thing is, if you use it in a room that's got like a bunch of spiders that take like one hit to kill, you're basically just wasting HP at that point. How much gold we're getting just from killing things though? Take a peep. Found a bomb. Yeah, 176 crit. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I see you up there, gold. Hiding behind Nico. He can't hide you from my paws. From my mitts. I'm gonna get ya. Curse chest. I think a curse chest right now is a bad idea. Um, we already have one curse that we desperately need to get rid of, so... I really don't want to be risking any more curses. Especially with the chests, they don't often reward you with anything that good. I mean, they're still pretty about valuable. I still open them quite a lot of the time, but normally the, the reward isn't quite worth it. But we're going down to the last floor now. Well, it's not the last floor anymore. <laughs> the old last floor. Uh, in pretty good time here. Uh, like I said in the last run, I think it's going to be without bosses on Ascension 1 or lower, or like 0 or 1. It's going to be around 50 minutes for a full run to the last boss. I think as we increase the Ascension and as we start fighting bosses, that's going to go up by 10, 20, 30 minutes. So we might have to 
have a look at doing bosses a little less often, maybe. And not climbing the ascensions quite as often. I don't actually know how ascensions work. I think you only have to beat the last boss to increase your ascension level, I think. Maybe not though, maybe you have to um maybe you have to kill every single boss and then it increases ascension because I never actually tried beating Nori without beating the other bosses. Do you know what? I didn't even I didn't even register that guy as an enemy for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, that, that gargoyle is of course gonna be alive because the door's still locked. So we're gonna be careful for that. Gotta be careful when we go in shops now as well because our free food actually I'm just gonna do that. Damn you, boy. Little Nico, listen to him. He does a little, like, swinging punch. I love that. Little Nico. Uh, that's that's more swing damage at low health, isn't it? Yeah, we, we don't really want that right now. Uh, more throw damage. Now we don't want that right now. We don't want that right now. We're going to have to take that. To be honest, more throw damage at high health isn't a bad thing. Get an extra nine. It's crazy. The bonus is nowhere near as big as it is on the uh, on the swing damage one. I don't know why. I think it's just because throw damage is much safer. So they make it so you can't get as high with the throw damage. That would make sense to be fair. Free cash removal here is of imperative importance. Imperative importance. That is, that's not even a sentence. That's not even a sentence, Tell. What you speaking? You cracker. Please, yes. Yes, it got rid of the only one I wanted to get rid of. I mean, the other two aren't great either, but thank you. Yeah, you're, you're getting deaded. I know that that other skeleton's going to end up coming back to life. Ow, he got me. Don't worry about it, though. It's fine. It's fine. Stop stealing my big bits of gold. Stop stealing my big gold, you... Got him. Hey, this is Gargoyle, and I just met you. He's dead. So here's my number. Is it clear I don't know the lyrics to that song? No, I do. Everyone knows the lyrics to that song. I lie. Oh my god, I accidentally opened one of these. Luckily, it only spawned one spider, though. Oh no, it spawned two! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he was behind me the whole time. I peeped this boy. Got nothing from peeping him. Uh, I'll probably just remove a curse here. Yeah, I think I'll just remove a curse here. Because I don't want to stack him up too high. Please get rid of that one. Yes, there you go. Yeah, I don't want to end up stacking up too high. Yes, jumpy boy. I absolutely love the hyperstone. I'm loving it that we're getting all these new items unlocked now as well. So it just means more items to find. Like, I'm tempted to just go and, and like, craft all of the items in one go. Um, because then we'll find them all in runs. But it's so nice to take one into a run with you. Yeah, I'll buy that. Don't think anything else in there is really worth the time of day. Let's move down. I should have maybe re-rolled the pocket grill and try and got something better, but it's alright. Don't worry about it too much. Sometimes I'm going to forget that I have the re-rolled bombs. One-shotting one of them. I know we're not on any ascension, but one-shotting one of them is possibly the most satisfying thing ever. Look how much gold we got from that guy. We didn't even destroy one of the towers and we just got like a thousand gold. No, one five thousand. It's like 500 gold. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I gotta remember I can reroll shop items. I do. I do sometimes forget. But I've, I've mentioned this before. I probably I, I don't know how much I've spoken about it in videos, but oftentimes with YouTubers, people will comment like, "It's, it's never it's never normally toxic, or it's never been toxic on my channel at least." Gold sustains is very good. Um, it's never been toxic on my channel at least, but it can get toxic sometimes where people are commenting saying, "Oh, you're forgetting things." I'm speaking about other people's videos. I've never really had this. I've had people mention it, but it's never been mean. And people will be like, oh, you missed this. It's so stupid and all this sort of stuff. And a lot of the time when people are watching, like, some of them are just dicks. Some, sometimes people, it's just people being dicks for being dicks sick. Um, but some people seem to forget sometimes that, like, the amount of mental energy it takes to commentate is a lot. 
it's a lot and a lot. Like when you're doing when you're doing commentating, like for however many hours in a day. Um, ooh. So we got another freeloader's drought there. Tempting. We got the pilfer ring again. I'm gonna go for the pilfer ring because we're gonna be buying a lot. Um, I don't. I'm gonna take this because we're we're thinking in. Um, we're gonna be re-rolling so much stuff, but I'm not gonna take the freeloader's drought at the minute unless we get the um the the big curse boy at the end of this floor. But yeah, like the amount of mental energy it, it takes to to constantly be commentating um, and making sure not only the commentary is relevant but it's decent and it's like depending on the type of channel you are, it's got to be high enough energy as well. It's why you often find that people like um, like dangerously funny or um, I don't know who's who's some others like I don't know Jack said to people like that. They don't stream a lot because their their videos are so high energy. There's so there's so much like talk and chat and all that sort of stuff in them that it it it's really difficult to stream like that because you cannot keep that up for hours on end. Oh my god, I just I just stopped to look at my phone and stopped on top of the spike. One minute. I've got a notification or something. Oh, it's just like someone sent me a snowman on Facebook. <laughs> Not playing Farmville or anything like that. It, like literally they sent me an emoji of a snowman. Right. I'll do a bit of this. Open that up. It's got a pilfer in it. Yeah, so nice for the healing and everything, this. Oh, yes, we suck up food as well. That's so good. Yeah, we suck up food. That's so good. I get some good players in this right now. I'm just going to use that right now. We've got one secret room up here. Kind of nice to have. Oh my god. Spawned an enemy. Kind of a bit more willing to play this more heavily because... Yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll leave it there. Yeah, I was kind of a bit more willing to play this more heavily just because... Um... Wait, can I do this? Oh, yes. Look at that skill. Skill McGill. It's just skeletons. Found a bomb bag from that one. Wow. Skill McGill. Uh, then we can just use this to heal up. And this is just going to be constant healing. And it's going to last for so long as well. That we should basically heal back to full from it. I'm not going to spend ages this floor looking around for the secret room. I'll dart through a few rooms and look for um, look for the rock. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I always want to look for this. Because this can hold some pretty good secrets. Like a three lock chest, which I'll definitely open. Get a bit of gust going on. Very nice, very nice. You might want to start buying some keys now, though. But yeah, look, we're almost up to full HP already. The healing that you get is crazy. And we're still... We're only a quarter of the way through this as well, in terms of the amount. I mean, obviously, Catalyst is making it even better, but the duration's insane. I always underrate the potion duration item. It's very good. I really don't care about getting hit. I'm going to be getting all this health back pretty quickly. Right, head down to the next floor. Very much enjoying this run so far, though. It's going great. I really like Nico as well. I think Nico is very, very good. I'm definitely going to be switching over to Dinjo, whatever he's called, the little night squirrel in the uh, in the next episode, though, because that is by far one of my favorite um, one of my favorite ones. Basically, because with with him. We're going to be finding literally every secret room. He points out secret rooms and, like, crawl spaces and stuff for you. And I'm pretty bad at finding them, so... Also, our true sight potion that we've got active here is going to last forever as well. I forgot about that. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of these boys. Thank God we got most of them here. Wow, we're, we're just cleaning it up. Cleaning it up right now. We've got so much damage going on. It's crazy. Iron Branch is really good for us. Getting up to 600 HP here. 624, in fact. And we get swing damage and swing speed. So, very good for us, indeed. Yeah, we definitely want to buy some keys coming up, if we can. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I really don't care about taking damage at all right now. Because this healing potion is lasting for so long that there is no way we don't heal through all of this. There's absolutely no way we don't heal through all of this. 
Okay, so it's just run out. Give me all that. This is the most brilliant room for golden bombs. If we find them in the shop, we'll definitely buy them and use them on this room. What you got for us? No relics, sadly. Unfortunately, you can't use the reroll machine to roll into relics either. So that's a kind of a bust. I'll buy these two keys. Check out this black rabbit here. I think that's pretty, pretty worth it. And that's pretty worth it in the long game. I'll just buy that to get back up to a bit more HP. I'll buy more of them. That that seems really good for us. We do have a reroll per potion as well that I haven't used yet. Wow, I do hit that gargoyle. God damn. That's so good. God damn, I'm absolutely I'm absolutely in love with a pill for ring right now. It makes the the whole world so much easier. Let me just do a bit of this. Get him going. I love the way he stretches. I like his little purple eyes as well. Quinter. I've not been really um, reading out the names of the uh, of the peasants whenever we get them, but I might have to start doing that. More of that going. Oh, of course, every time. I think we did get a a potion in the shop there that could remove curses though, so I'll go and buy that. I'll go and see about getting that one going. Wrong one, wrong one. There you go. Thank you, thank you. 32 bombs right now. We're absolutely in the clear for bombs for the rest of this run. However many rerolls we want to do. Got to remember... Oh, I missed that gold there. We can reroll anything. Got to remember that. I'm pretty sure we can even reroll bombs on the floor into, into keys sort of thing. Uh, that's still pretty worth it, I think. The amount of gold you get out of it is very much worthwhile. Back up to 20,000 now, so doing really, really good on our gold. And we're on to the, the last floor of this one here. Hey, I didn't see you there. Okay, I didn't realise as well we've got... We've got another another one of those three key chests here. Probably don't want to open that one. We don't want to be too low on keys. My god, our true sight potion is still going. Yeah, I'm saving my gold doubler for the last uh, the last floor. I'll probably get some grey out of it there. Double secret room. Two keys. Cannot complain about two keys, can we? Not ever. Of course, with their uh, pilfer ring, it's going to be a little harder to use our gold doubler. But we'll get something out of it, I'm sure. Look how fast we go with battle standard. It's insane. 200 damage crits all day long. Is that third secret room? Oh yeah, we've got the hat, haven't we? I forgot we had three secret rooms sometimes. I was going to say that was almost really stupid, but luckily it still opened it. Another one! <laughs> oh my god. Another one. You're sitting in a bad place there, skeleton. We, we just hit so fast with battle standard. It's kind of insane, actually. Oh, really? You move that out the way. Good here, you. You cheeky boy. There you go. What we got in here? Oh, we got a crystal one. That's nice. So, uh, because it's under... That's kind of cool. Because it's underground of this floor, it's the crystal. I wonder if that happens for all the crawl spaces on this floor. That's really cool, though. I like that idea, if that's the case. Give me that. that. That might be the case on every floor, to be honest. I might just be completely oblivious to the facts. I don't know where that green thing's going. There he is. Things are dying so quick. It's amazing. But yeah, the good thing is as well, we're going to be coming into almost all of our runs like with so much more gold now if we make it to that last floor. So nice. Having anything over like 30,000 is basically enough gold to last you the entire uh, the entire run and buy basically everything. Ha ha ha. I'll be rolling you. I can't even be able to pick you up. Nope. <laughs> no bombs, please. Ah, that's... We'll take it. It's not that much damage, but it's an extra 10 right now. 
an extra 10 damage, you can't really turn your nose apart, even if it's only low amounts. And we could possibly get, like, a, a key switch um, potion. Switch our bombs and keys, maybe. Find one of them. That could really help us out, get us a lot more damage. And we could also just buy a bunch of keys. Okay, a stash isn't very valuable for us right now. Let's try and reroll this. We got Guidance. We do not want to take Guidance. I will buy that and do that. We do not want to buy Guidance. It is broken right now. Oh, okay. We bought it, but destroyed it. Damn it. One more, I think I'll destroy it, but I'll try it. No, it didn't. Okay. Sadly, nothing. Uh, we'll try and reroll this a little bit as well. Yes, please. As long as we don't get the oil boots, Salamander's tail is brilliant for us. Ah! <laughs> he just... I walked out and it immediately was like, no, back in your cage. Back in your cage, mister. That was funny. Um, technically, we can open that now, but I don't want to. We have two of those to open, but I don't want to open them right now because we've got so much damage from our extra keys. I want to try and keep that. But yeah, if we get one key switch thing, I am just going to go sky high. Please have one in here. Hey, that, you took my food. You cheeky one. Right. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to reroll both of these. Okay, the fire damage is probably pretty bad for us, actually, with Salamander. They're both awful. Yeah, the fire damage, Salamander's tail screwing us over. We just bought both of those, but destroyed them. Damn it. Okay, that doesn't transmute Persians. That's good to know. But yeah, the fire damage is really screwing us right now. I didn't realize. So we basically can't reroll things anymore. God damn it. I did not know that was a thing. Shit. I did not know that was a thing. So, Salamander's Tail, do not take it, ever. Right, we've got to look out for a... We've got to look out for a, a room that's going to be good for gold doubling here. I mean, basically any of these rooms with these shards is pretty damn good, but we need a, a specifically really good one. But yeah, so don't take Salamander's Tail with transmute bombs, people. It's bad. I hate it when he just runs into you. Okay, there's a nest here. I've got to destroy that nest. I love these scale enemies. They're so cool. Such a good idea. Having like a hive mind type type deal going on. It's really cool. Haha, -ha, Pilfer. You thought you could get to me? Oh, no. Ooh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I thought I was going to fall off the edge there. Not quite. I'm not going to take that gold. Pilfer, you can have it. Well done, Pilfer. That's your prize. Take my swing speed. Always with the swing speed. Currently, we're getting 18 extra damage from my Keyblade. I can't wait till we get 42. Well, it'll be 84, actually, extra damage. Okay, so these guys basically have to destroy. Oh, my God. How did I survive that? We are do doing an absolute hecking ton of uh, damage with our, um, with our fire, though, from Salamander's Tail. A potion. Do you know what? That's going to be really good for the boss. So I'll definitely hold on to that. Don't worry about the damage we're taking. It's fine. Everything's fine. The damage we're taking right now is so minimal as compared to the damage we're going to be taking. Um, when we up our ascension, it's crazy. Seltz Egg is not that good. We can only reroll like once now though, which is sad. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it only does the fire sometimes? <gasps> Hilfer's Gift. Maybe it only happens in shops? I don't know. Both of those are pretty bad. Unfortunately, we have to reroll them separately. I did not know that was a possibility. Did not know that was a possibility at all. I'm very annoyed at that. <laughs> God damn it. Didn't know you could push things into pits like that. I'm not going to bother sacrificing my health. Actually, do you know what? I am, because I've got the troll sweat. Ooh. 
Right. Let's. Oh, it's a, it's a mimic, anyways. Let's just duplicate that. That's going to be a decent use of this. Yeah, that was pretty good. It wasn't the best usage, but pretty good. I'm just going to use my troll sweat now. Seems pretty decent for us. Let's head down to the next floor. <sighs> onto the onto the second. Oh my god, we're only on the second. We're at 49 minutes. These runs go long, boy. These runs go long. Okay. Troll Sweat's going to have to heal us all the way up here. That guy did open a secret room for us, though. That's kind of nice of him. We're going to be getting a lot of healing from uh, money as well. Got to remember that. No, thank you. We can get a potion unlock soon as well that lets us drop all our relics. I'm, I'm waiting for that one because that one's going to be really good for like re-rolling our entire run. The cleaver's good, but right now we're just too close to the end. I think I'm going to take Shadow's Fang here. The critical is too good for me right now. Yeah, the healing's brilliant from Troll Sweat right now. Don't even get the time to throw a bomb, boy. Alright, fire should get him. 27 fire damage. That's insane. We're dealing so much fire damage right now. So much gold, too. Oh, yes. I wonder how much we get from killing the boss, because we haven't actually killed the boss yet. I imagine we're going to get a ton of gold. This is definitely the run to kill it, though. We have so much damage and are quite a lot of defense in terms of, like, how much HP we have and stuff. Good, good, good. Here's our shop Rooney. What you got for us? Got the map. Not really that important for us right now. So if I if I try rolling this, will it set on fire? It just sets things in the shop on fire. That's kind of bullshit. I am gonna take gold bombs now. I'm not that bothered about re-rolling anymore. Let's just try and get some get some buku books, shall we? Apparently you can do this though. Let me let me try this. So drop a bomb, pick that up. Haha! <laughs> oh, it turned into another fucking bomb. <laughs> I try what I did there, if you didn't really see what I did. I actually re-rolled the transmute bombs with a transmute bomb. But unfortunately. Oh boy, yes. Oh boy, yes. This is this is gonna put us fairly low on bombs, but our damage is gonna be sky high. 72 extra damage. But yeah, unfortunately, um it just re-rolled it into another fucking bomb. <laughs> That's annoying. It's cool that you can do that though. Right. 36 keys, 72 extra damage. I think we're pretty set. I think we're good to go here. I think we're pretty set. So if we find a room with a decent amount of rocks and it will start blowing stuff up. Oh my god, doing that little X pattern is so cool. Haha, <laughs> push you in the pit, boy. I don't want to waste my bombs too much though on just singular rocks. Yeah, there's not really much to do on this floor. Let's get get down. Head down, head down. Right, got to remember when we smash these rocks as well. For some reason, they drop gold bomb stuff. It's really good for us, but it's not meant to work like that. Definitely not. 360 damage there, that's crazy. God damn, we're not finding a lot of rocks here, are we? Ow. Yeah, we're not finding a lot of bombs here. Thank you for opening that for us, though. Another one of these. Wow. We are going to be dealing so much damage to this boss, it's going to get melted. Absolutely melted. Haha, -ha, you think I care about your poison damage? Wowie. Why did I do that? <laughs> I just slammed the bombs so far away. I always forget you can hit the bombs because I never do it. Oh my god, duplicate more gold. Keep going. So we can't reroll anymore. So we get what we get. Honestly, explosive concoction. Kind of weird. Unstable concoction, sorry. But we'll take it. <laughs> 
Uh, actually, the silver concoction isn't great because when we're bombing, when we're bombing rocks, it destroys all the other rocks and they don't give us gold. So I suppose it's not great in that sense. I don't really get how we do this room. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that room. Seems a bit dangerous. Let's go back over to this room over here. God damn, yeah, you guys better be, be better be ready and in for the long haul because we're gonna be having some long episodes coming up. Really long. That's too valuable. I don't want to do that yet. Shrine room. A bit more swing damage. I'm happy with that. Yeah, not too bad about a chest right now. Could cost us a bomb that could be very valuable elsewhere, so... Don't want to go for that yet. But yeah, runs can, can start to get really, really long now. It's crazy. I do love the fact they added an extra floor, though. Even if it does make the runs quite long. Still very nice to have. Into our shop. Bit of free meat there. Don't take my meat. Oh my god, you took my meat. God damn you. I'll take a bomb bag, just because it's going to pay for itself. Um, and then I think, we'll just, I think we'll just go. Oh, actually, I'll take the chest and the bottle as well, just in case. Can sometimes give us something really good. Like that. Exactly like that. That's what I like to see from a from a chest and a bottle. And then we got a, a Black Rabbit's game here. Or a Black Rabbit's shop, should I say. Not really anything that valuable for us here. And head down to the next floor. Let's go. Feeling good about this one. Feeling good about this one. Smash that up. Few of those going. Lovely, lovely. Three hundred and thirty-seven crit. Thank you for revealing that for me, Mr. Man. Covers so much space, them guys now. Insanity how much space they cover. Look at that, it's so hidden. Um nope, that's not worth my keys. That's my damage you're talking about. Excuse me, that's my damage you're talking about. We are too powerful. We are quite literally too strong. Get rid of the curse there. Fortunately, not really many uh, many rocks to, to speak of in terms of destruction. Ow. Lots of poison on me right now. Whoa, what's going on with the multiple sparkles on this wall here? Do we have another troll set? We don't. We should invest in some more healing. Almost hit myself with my own bomb there. I'll do that just because we will get some more healing out of this. And we got some more damage out of it too. <laughs> yeet yeet. It's always good. I mean, we're getting enough healing out of just money in general, to be honest, so not too bad for us. What you got for us here? Freeloaders. Don't really need freeloaders. I might as well get that to remove that. Get another key. Yeah, we're fine. We're absolutely fine here. We're sitting pretty. Even though my health was low, it back up again. The amount we get at the minute from uh, gold healing is so good that we really don't even need to bother with food and things of the like. Our peasant doesn't need to eat. Right. Give me all that gold. 39,000 already. We've still got the gold that we get from killing the boss to go as well. That's pretty decent. Not going to help us on the boss too much, but it's pretty nice to have. And we're coming up against the boss in a minute. This boss is going to go down. It's going to go down fast. Remember, we've got two potions on top of this as well. So this is going to go real fast. And we've got a troll sweat as well. Yes, please. So basically, I'm going to go into the fight, activate every single one of my potions, and then just go to town on that bad boy. There is no way we... Unless, unless we get softlocked again, there's no way we don't win. Right. Oh my god. He of course did that, didn't he? Oh my god, Nico seems to be getting our damage bonuses. But look at that damage! Oh my god! Got two heads up already. 
Why are you throwing the enemies directly on top of me? I want to hit you. I didn't even manage to hit him there. Ah, uh, that attack does so much damage. Don't worry about it though. He's almost dead. The troll sweat's helping. This is the first time we've seen him with four heads. But don't worry about it. He is dead. There we go. That was a run to end all runs. Up to 58,000 gold. We got ourselves this. Uh, Nico seems to still be hitting him for some reason. <laughs> He's still dealing damage somehow as well. And we get the lab walkers. Definitely happy to have them. And oh yes, diversion is so good. Diversion is so, so good. Right, down we go. And I'm not exactly sure what happens when we've already done our ascensions. We can get Stone of rec Recretion. Cool. Noise. Beat that run. There you go. Taking how much gold down with us? 59,000. And that is our first win against the great and mighty boss. I'm super happy we managed to get a kill there. That was a really fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.